Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I just wanted to illustrate that if you have Excel with an Office 365 subscription, you have a really nice new tool that um, uh, on the first level, I just wanna show you how easy it is to replace what you would normally do with the concatenate feature. So let's start off with concatenation. If I go to this cell, cell AN3, and I simply wanted it to say Kara space B space Olson, let's take a look at what that would look like if I was using the concatenate function. I can go up here to the formulas tab at the top of the screen, go to the text drop down menu, and here is concat, short for concatenate. And it simply says, tell me what the first bit of text is, then the second bit of text, then the third bit of text, etc. So if I'm putting in Kara, and then for text 2, I need there to be a space between Kara and B, I actually put in quotation marks, space, close quotation marks. And then for text 3, I'm going to choose the B in Kara B. Olson. And then again, between the B and the Olson, I need quotation marks, space, close quotation marks. And for the fifth one, finally, I do Olson. And that's what gets me Kara B. Olson, and what also gets me all the other people. However, as you saw there, I had to feed these in one at a time, first entry, second entry, and third entry, with spaces in between the entire way. So how would I solve that more quickly using the text join function with Excel with an Office 365 subscription? If I go back to the formulas tab on the text drop down menu, there is this option now for text join. And what text join tells me is that I just want to know what the common delimiter is first. So I'm going to do quote space quote. And that's useful for situations like this one where it needs to be Kara space B space Olson. Or when you're building addresses and there needs to be commas in between every one of them. That's how we can make that happen. Now, what happens if Kara Olson does not have a middle initial? Should we put a space between Kara and the empty space and then the empty space and Olson? Probably not. So for ignore empty here, notice it's just as true or a false. Uh, if it's true or if it's empty, then if there's, a def there's an empty cell there, then we don't bother with it. And finally here, we have text one, text two, text three. And what's nice is for text one, I can literally just highlight across Kara B. Olson, just like that, AK3 through M, AM3, and hit OK. So notice the simplification of effort there. Text join function. I need you to put spaces. Uh, should we ignore empty spots? Yes, we should. And what cells are going to be concatenated together? Just all these in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And so we get Kara B. Olson, and we also get the remainder of that list with a much easier to understand function.